Now we're going to start talking about getting more Ajax power, starting with a nice little application that's not technically Ajax, but is, can be very important to Ajax applications. This shows you how to determine the user's browser type and version in JavaScript. And that can be very important because as you go on in Ajax and develop more powerful applications, you may rely on the browser's JavaScript more and more heavily. And you can, you'll find that there are different, there are variations between various browsers, how the JavaScript works, and you might want to branch depending on the user's browser type and version. There are different capabilities of different browsers, different HTML elements supported, for example, and you might in the Internet Explorer versus Firefox. The Internet Explorer, for example, supports a marquee element that the, that the Firefox browser does not. And you might want to branch uh, depending on whether or not the user has Firefox or Netscape or Internet Explorer and so forth. So this example shows you how to determine in JavaScript what type of browser and version the user has. This is browser.html in the downloadable code for the course. And when you click this button, you're going to see that the JavaScript will be able to determine the user's browser type and version. This is Internet Explorer 6.0 that you see in front of you, and if you, type, if you press the Click Me button, you see that the application did indeed recognize that it's Internet Explorer 6.0. So let's take a look at the details of this application now in JavaScript, and here is the entire JavaScript for the application, and you start off by displaying the header, determine the user's browser type and version. The button, which when clicked, goes to and calls a function, a JavaScript function called display text, and the results will appear in this div element with the ID target div, as you see there. So the JavaScript here is a little bit arcane. It, it uses the navigator.useragent property and we're going to discuss how that works. However, it's a little ar a little arcane because we're working with text strings returned by the uh, navigator.useragent property and the navigator.appName property, and so unfortunately the details are not necessarily self-explanatory. They have to rely on the format of the user agent property, and that's different for different browsers. So let's take a look at the display text function right now, and first it starts by looking at the navigator object, which is supported in all modern browsers. The navigator object has a property named app name, and if it's Netscape, then you have the possibility of working with Netscape Navigator or Firefox, and if the navigator.app name property holds Microsoft Internet Explorer, then it's pretty obvious what uh, application, what browser you're working with, the Internet Explorer. So let's first take a look at the possibility that the person is using Firefox. This is a Netscape brand browser, and if app name holds Netscape, you can be working with the either the Netscape Navigator or Firefox. And the way you determine that is by looking at the Navigator object's user agent property. This is a text string. This returns a text string that holds information, further information about the browser, and you can use the JavaScript index of method to search for Firefox. And if Firefox exists in the user agent property and is, is present, you're going to get a return value of greater than zero from the index of method. And you can then search for the beginning of where Firefox appears in the user agent property. And then you go through and find the, the beginning and end of the Firefox information and from then on you're able to simply search for the beginning and the and end of the of Firefox information including the version number like this. You're using Firefox which you determine by searching for Firefox and then you extract the version number from the user agent property by using the substring method which from beginning to end which is set here begin equals and this how you determine the begin and end location of the version number simply depends on the format of the user agent property. 
So this material here is just something that you have to you have to take on faith. You just have to use, and it's not something that's going to be self-evident. But this code does determine that the person is using Firefox and displays the version number of the Firefox browser that they're working with. Similarly, for Microsoft Internet Explorer, if you search for MSIE, you can find the beginning location of the version number. It follows MSIE in the user agent property and you can find the end location as well. It depends. It, it varies by version number so you have to go through a little bit of finagling there. And finally you're able to display the message you're using in Internet Explorer and you say navigator.useragent substring and you extract from beginning to end inside the substring of the user agent property, the actual version number of the browser the person is working with. So this is useful code and available for your use to determine the browser type and version that the, that the user is working with. And as already mentioned, the JavaScript you can execute in the browser can depend on the browser type and version, so this is good information to know because Ajax applications, of course, are extremely JavaScript intensive.